Hello everyone, welcome to Carnivorous Plants Hub. Today I'm going to be bringing you an update on my Venus flytrap seedlings that I showed you uh, the other day. So I'm going to be bringing you a quick update here. This is going to be about a 55 day update. That's an estimate. I posted this on the 12th. Uh, today's the 5th, so 55, somewhere in there. I didn't do the exact math, but we're looking at about 55, 60 days, just under two months. Uh, update for these uh, Venus flytrap seedlings, but real quick before we do that guys. Thanks so much for being here I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for tuning into my channel I just went over 5,000 subs and I appreciate every one of you so much A lot of you have been really loyal to me since the beginning and it really really means the world to me So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel Make sure to like this video also make sure to check out the the first bit uh, and second video in this series kind of showing you updates on These Venus flytrap seedlings so you can kind of get update updated on that in the description I do have a playlist so you can go check out the playlist and, and see all the videos just showing that this uh, kind of seedling Venus flytrap update so but let's go ahead and check these out that's what you guys are here for so uh, let's go I'm gonna turn this just a little bit and I'm actually gonna get out my the light on my phone so we have a little more light here but so let's go ahead and check out these here DCXL red piranhas let's jump in there so you guys can look at how cute those are come on now all that dog hair is there's ruin it, but look how cute those Venus flight traps are. They're doing really, really well. See how close it's gonna let me get. A little bit closer. Come on. There we go. Look at that. Those are doing really well. I, I can't say for certain how many of these hit, but I think pretty close to all of them did, because most of these have at least six or seven that have sprouted. Let's check a look here. Let's see, gotta see. I had a little bit of a white mold problem. Um, there's a little bit of buildup on my uh, my tags here, but most of it is completely cleared out from the plants themselves. Uh, so I'm pretty I'm pretty happy that that I just kind of added some more air circulation and it just kind of got rid of itself. So uh, you can see there's four here. This is the um, H15 alien. So you see those ones. Look at this one here, the the UK sawtooth. Oh wait, sorry, UK sawtooth big vigorous. Check out how many of these there are. There was a ton of these ones. But look how good they're doing, uh, living up to that vigorous name. And they're big too. Look how these ones are. These just look really, really healthy. They're already getting a nice red color. I've even seen. I think I saw a a gnat in one of the traps the other day, which was kind of cool that they're already capturing a little bit of food. It's definitely the time of year for gnats and those kind of insects here in uh, North Idaho. So, all right, let's check out the eyelashes long red fingers those ones aren't as big as the other ones but they're definitely doing really really well you can see there's a ton of them here and let's just jump over here flaming lips shoop and steel might have said that wrong these ones are definitely more of a green variety not you don't see nearly as much red in these ones but really really beautiful little traps and let's jump over here we got our Darwin LGG. Look at this, this little clump over here is doing really well. That little clump there is doing really good. Looks like there's maybe two right there that got next to each other. That's probably my fault, but yeah, you can see that they're doing really, really well. That one actually still has the, I don't know if you can see that, but it still has the seed right in the middle of the screen there, kind of on the top. So, but yeah, they're doing, doing really, really well guys. Um, I'm liking it so far. I've had a really high success rate with all of these in every little planter So I'm really excited to get these all out and uh, grow these up and, and, and show them to you as, as they get bigger I really just wanted to show them to you at this stage I know it's kind of really soon after my last video But this is really when they really start to take some shape and look like Venus flytraps and people really have questions about what they look like like what to expect so many people get bad and fraudulent seeds that, that they don't really know what to look for so now if you get seeds and your Venus flytraps start to grow. You know what they look like when they sprout because of my last video, and now you know what they look like. They, they look like Venus flytraps almost out the get-go. This one here in the middle is a good example of what you're gonna get. So the first thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna get two little leaves that split out on each side. And then that third leaf that comes up in the middle is typically gonna be your first little actual trap. So if they don't look like Venus flytraps almost right out the get-go, after those first two leaves, you probably don't have real seeds. Uh, and you probably need to contact your seller because they sold you fraudulent seeds, which is a really, really big problem that happens to a lot of people. So make sure you're only buying these seeds from reputable growers. 
somebody you either know online personally uh, or somebody who's being vouched for by people you do trust uh, or buying from a big nursery you know something like that where um, you know that they they typically deal uh, with trustworthiness so but yeah really, really cool update uh, I'm gonna keep you guys updated on these really I'm just keeping them in the exact same light and water cycle I keep this thing full of water I do occasionally keep this thing covered uh, just to give them a little bit more um, humidity it's not really necessary it's not really needed but it does help keep the water levels low or keep water levels high so that I don't have to check the water nearly as much uh, but I did have that little bit of white mold problem um, which was eliminated mostly by just giving them a little more airflow so if you do get a mold problem probably take off that top and just give them a little more airflow and typically that'll really help them out so uh, yeah uh, make sure to subscribe to, the, uh, subscribe to my channel, like this video, all that stuff really helps me guys. Thanks again so much for being here. Uh, make sure to subscribe so that you can see my next update, which I'll probably do in another 30 days or so, just so you guys can kind of keep an eye on these and see how they grow. Thanks a lot, guys. I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye-bye.